I've always been insecure. Now, I'd say that's pretty normal, but you don't need to stay insecure for your entire life. Growing up, I was very skinny. I got called chicken legs, noodle arms, and well, I could see why. I had a very fast metabolism, and even if I was eating junk food, I would still be just as skinny. For some people, that would probably be a dream, but I was very insecure about it. I wouldn't wear shorts in the summer, and I was so motivated to get less skinny. So what did I do? I got a gym pass. I worked out nearly every day with both terrible form and the worst nutrition, but I made some gains. Some people might say that it's toxic to change something if it's an insecurity as you need to love yourself for it first. Well, I say if you go about changing that thing in a healthy way that will end up making you feel more confident about yourself, then I say go for it. As I was trying to get less skinny, I faced one problem. I didn't want to bulk. You see, naturally, I've always had very chubby cheeks, and when I put on fat, it nearly always goes straight to my face. Overcoming this insecurity has taken a very long time, but I'm finally at a point where I'm going to properly bulk, Beautiful. because at this point, I'm only trying to get less skinny for me. I've stopped caring what other people think, and I think that delayed gratification is a very noble pursuit. Growing up, I've also been very insecure when it comes to social interactions. I've always lacked the confidence to talk to girls and to meet new people. I've been so perfectionistic that if I didn't say the funniest joke in the room, I'd beat myself up. With time, I've realized that you don't need to be the funniest or the loudest or the smartest. You just need to be yourself. A lot of the time when you are worried people are judging you for what you're saying, they're really not. And a powerful quote that I've heard is, you are not the person you think you are. You are not the person other people think you are. You are the person you think other people think you are. It's a, it's a bit of a mouthful, but basically it means that it is all in your head. By pushing myself out of my comfort zone and wow, by meeting lots of new people, yeah, uh, and getting to know strangers, but, yeah. I've become a lot more confident in social interactions. But I think the overarching insecurity here has been that I care too much what other people think about me. Wondering whether they like me, whether they want to be my friend, whether I fit in or not. But the ironic thing is that I've come to find people started to like me more when I cared less if they did. I've done a lot of work to build up my self-esteem and my self-worth and getting to a point where you completely don't care what people around you think is practically impossible and will probably just turn you into a dickhead. But getting to a point where you care a lot less about changing yourself for other people is realistic and definitely a possibility. I oh think one of the most important things in life is being your completely authentic self and owning your imperfections and insecurities because that is what makes you human and that is what makes you you. If you're watching this and you're feeling insecure about something, I want you to know that it's okay. It's normal, but with a bit of time, a bit of self-work and self-love, it doesn't have to stay that way.